Yo, guys, what is up? We are back. And you know what time it is, man. As y'all know, I am not a fan of this new patch, but I'm still going to keep bringing y'all gameplay, man. Um, after that last video, I told y'all we lost three straight, so we had to get back to it, man. We had to get better. We had to get grinding. You know what I'm saying? Not all the time is EA going to take over and just completely destroy all your freaking skill set. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to just overpower everything that you have in this thing. So we got to get back to it. We still got Night Train Lane with us. We still got Kim Rally with us. Uh, Paolo Malo and the boys, Shannon Crowder, Reddy Jarrett, and on offense, the maxed out Randy Moss. Justin doesn't play for us. Well, he does play, but he doesn't play on the field because we got Randy Moss, Keen Allen, and Brian Fenner. Um, and this is not the new one. Supposedly, we can upgrade this one by getting a new one and then putting this one in the set. Haven't did that yet, but it is what it is. Justin Fields is our quarterback. Even though Team of the Week actually came out today. But like I said, this game play is old. So hopefully we can see how that goes, man. If we get Joshua Dobbs right now, he's going for 600,000 coins or something like that. We'll see how that goes. And on defense, like I said, we good. But let's just hop straight into the gameplay, man. Like I told y'all, not a fan of the patch, but we, we trying to work our way through it, bring y'all some nice gameplay. Anyway, see y'all in a minute. All right, let's go, guys. That is our team. Randy Moss, Justin Field, and Channing Carter. Look at this guy's name, man. Let's go ahead and go up against this dude. Eric Berry, Harry Carmichael, Chris Brooks. That is his team. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. First kickoff. That man got Carmichael out there. And if it's just me or is his team look like they're in raids, like just super beefed up. Like we're still in the most fair program. But we are hawking this man Carmichael down. He almost gets a kit return to start off. A lot of kit returns, man, after this patch. If y'all haven't noticed so far, Troy Aikman, next play, dots me up. Uh, completely routes Ken Riley, even though he's boosted to a 93 overall. He tries to go for two, but Vita Vez right there to stop this man. And this man, look, look, even look at his kicker, bro. Look how big this man is. What the heck? He tried to do outside kick and recover right there. I believe that was Caden Ellis, the uh, uh, most underrated linebacker in the game. But anyway, you see perfect accuracy right there. But I ain't gonna lie, that man click on for that pass was pretty nice. I'm gonna give him credit on that. Uh, but the next play right there, we dumped it off to Derrick Henry, man. Third and six. Justin Fields looking back to pass. What are we looking for? We try to throw it in. Good user by him. I thought he was going to go down to a running back, but he went back up. Like I said, I'm giving this man credit. Good stuff right there. But the next play, we go to Kyle Pitts, man. The highlight reel, man. The unicorn. That guy. Oh, man, and we are up 7-6. and six. We're not going to go for two like that dude did. Nice hit stick right there by Troy Palomalo on Megatron. Troy eight man looking to pass. He's scrambling. He doesn't have no abilities. Those are across his body. Right to Megatron, he just bounces off the hit by Pat P. And Caden Ellis makes the freaking tackle. Troy eight million leg in the pass. Yo, his I like his um his um drop back. Like his his whole little throw animation too. That's pretty sick. And he overthrows his receiver right there. Troy eight man fourth and three. He's going for it. And look at that lurk artist actually activated. That's what I'm talking about after the pass. That's, that's amazing to see. We are on offense. Play action by Justin Fields. We're looking to go deep to Randy Moss, but it said it was perfect accuracy, but it was knocked out. And on that next play, look at this. Look at this click on. Perfect accuracy. And I thought Keenan Allen was going to. I threw it in inside because Keenan Allen was on the inside. And Kendall Fuller just went in there. Keenan Allen, I thought he was going to cut in with me because I'm trying to click on the user and get over there. But he did it before I did. Troy A. Millick in the past. And somehow, Ken Riley. Dude is getting destroyed for some reason. I don't know what the heck is going on. Randy Moss completely dusted that man. Yo, Ken Riley has only been on the team <laughs> like for a week pretty much. Or in this gameplay, like one day. And then dude is getting destroyed right now. I don't know what the heck is going on. But Ken Riley, we'll see how that goes. That is one of the cards we have pulled from the 82 plus. And Ken Riley once again gets dominated by Harry Carmichael. And Harry Carmichael is just talking so much junk, man. He's like, yo, this dude is trash. Why the heck is he on the team? Look at that. Carmichael just straight destroying him. The dude is trying to go for two once again. Troy Aitman. But he's almost sacked by Vita Vea, man. Let's go. Good stuff. We're back on offense. We hand off to Derrick Henry. Henry. Henry on the left side of the field. Henry. We try to juke a little bit. We do juke. But the AI number zero right there is able to come up with the stop. Good stuff by him. First and 10. It's still 7 and 12. We hand it off to Derrick Henry. We thought we had some nice blocks right there, and we do. We get another first down. Derrick Henry, two rushes, 38 yards. And I'm like, okay, cool. The run game is looking good. 
let me try to throw him off a little bit. So I don't know why I did that. I was like, I said I had that man Kyle Pitts still going up for a route. So I tried to do something crazy. We motion that man up. We try to stop and poise ourselves. It says good accuracy, high throw, but supposedly it's knocked out. It was nowhere near that man. I don't know how it was a good throw. Arian Foster, we can't get off to him. We still got Arian Foster with us, man. Good stuff right there. We can't get off to Arian Foster once again. Dude is very uh slim in this game. You know, with a big beefy dude like Derek Henry, sometimes dude just latch on. But with Arian Foster like this, he can just hit the hole, get to the outside, and it's a touchdown. Wish they did have this man's signature celebration with the little bow in the game like they used to in the previous matters, but they don't. But they got everybody else saying mama. Nice strip right there by Luke Van Ness. Um, good stuff right there. Now it's 14-12 to 12 in the first quarter. But, yeah, man, it would be nice if they had Arian Foster's signature celebration in the game. Also, Johnny Manziel's, that would be crazy considering I was in the game previously, I believe, in Madden 16, if I'm not mistaken. A nice pass right there to Kyle Pitts. Even though some dude in the comments said, I don't know how to pass. But uh, <laughs> we know how to pass, but I told y'all, sometimes the game, especially out of this patch, this dice rolls it a little too much. Even if you got the timing down, it's like they just make you throw a stupid pass. Even if it says perfect accuracy, they will still make the pass stupid. And even if it says inaccurate or completely red, sometimes you can complete a pass. So that's what I'm saying. But I know lobs and touch passes are based off of the skill. Um the skill attributes but for the, actually like the bullet passes that's based off of what you do but it's still random i don't know i don't understand why they would in, introduce it in the game if it's still random but anyway let's get it man 17 and 12 second quarter dude still has troy Aikman at quarterback he's looking to do something he's audible in. he's looking to pass and he throws right over the middle of the field and good hit right there i believe that was ed reed that broke up the pass from randy moss second and 10 troy Aikman looking to pass over the middle of the field, and he gets down there. I tried to use her with uh, Troy Palomalo, but he got down pretty fast. Uh, I guess he did the wrong play right there. Nice stop behind the line by Grady Jarrett. Second and 14, a minute 38 to go in the second quarter. Second and 14. You already know what sometimes happens on these long freaking plays. He picks up most of it. It's starting three. Troy Edmund is happy. He's like, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see what he's going to do. We coming up to the line a little bit. I'm watching this sort of stuff. Nice play action by Troy Aikman. We knows where he's going. And it's picked off. That perfect time to use a pick to Nitray Lane. Nitray Lane on the left side of the field. And just to be funny, that little R1 bull crap that he would be doing, I was just trying to see if he was actually going to do something. But Harold Carmichael was literally his MVP on this team right now. Um, <laughs> after that pick, this man got the freak up out of there, man. So that is crazy for us. But anyway. This is the next game. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know why. Um, I didn't get a chance to see the team and stuff like that. But we are here, and we're about to kick this freaking ball off, man. So um, this dude, his name is Aurora, whatever. The, I don't know what the heck this dude's name is. But let's get it. Yeah. Let's kick the ball off, man. Ooh. But as you saw that, man, hey, we was there. We made a good defensive play in the first uh, game, and he was out of there. Now we're going against this dude with the Jets uniforms. He is throwing across his body, and it's almost picked off by me, Channing Crowder. He has Justin Fields as well, and it should have been picked off right there by Patrick Peterson. Two plays should have been picked off, guys. Like That's why I try to tell y'all, this game, is, is is this patch is making this game trash. Y'all saw that two drop picks from the first play, and we got lagged. Talking about my opponent. So first and ten, Justin Fields looking to scramble. He's just rolling around like an idiot, and he just dots me up instantly. Now he's two for four on the drive. And guess what? On this play, he throws an inaccurate pass. But look what it says. Offsides by Reggie White. We didn't even do anything. The dude is just offsides. <laughs> like the dude didn't move or nothing. We didn't do no adjustments. Now this man is just running out of the pocket, throwing across his body on his less dominant side. And he gets the first down. Do you guys see what I'll be talking about when it comes to this pass? Now the dude throws it up and it's almost caught by randy moss next play second and ten he throws it to randy moss and they call that a touchdown even though it's not even a touchdown i told y'all this patch is freaking ridiculous man first oh uh, not okay first carry by derrick Henry. yo this game is nuts bro <laughs> i just got to tell y'all that man but we told y'all we here with this gameplay we rocking with y'all man we here we're gonna keep grinding i told y'all we're gonna get better uh the youtube is growing we almost at a thousand three hundred subscribers right now 
We still moving. But we back on offense. Keenan Allen. I told y'all this man is patch proof. We spin move the heck out of. I don't know who that is. That, oh, that's Cam Chancellor and Eric Berry is hawking this man. Keenan Allen down. We try to cut back, but he clicks off. Hard cut should have got him. But it is what it is. First and 10. We're looking to pass. Justin Fields. Look at that. I told you. Look, red, inaccurate, cross body, completed. I told y'all it's a dice roll. I don't get it. But anyway, Justin Fields looking to pass, and it's caught by Randy Moss. Good accuracy, completed. Next play, we hand it off to Derrick Henry. And look, it is a first and goal. Look at his next play. You remember how he just scored off of something? Look what happened to us, man. I, usually, I don't even commentate like this, but look at this. Now they give it to us. I feel like we were closer than what he was. But now it is 7-7. Seven to seven. Justin Fields should have been picked off. I tried to use that, but he does have a bigger body receiver, so good stuff on that. Um, he is throwing it to a dude that's wide open. Thankfully, he possession kept, caught that, or he would have been going for a touchdown. But it is what it is. First and 10. Justin Fields. We're trying out this. We live in this new blitz. Um, that's what we're doing right now, and it's, it's doing pretty good. I, I came up with it, and I did all the adjustments by myself. And he throws a terrible pass to Channing Crowder, man. Good stuff right there. And look at this play right here. Look at this. Ugh. Look, look at this. This is what I'm talking about with the pass. The dude dove to the right. Y'all go back and watch that. The dude dove to the right. And then go back to the left. I had to pause the game because I was seriously frustrated. He literally dove and his whole body turned in midair. But Keenan Allen is pass proof. He's wide open. He's destroying the freak out of Cam Chancellor. And Eric Berry keeps cleaning up. Keenan Allen wants to get, ugh. Freaking dusting the freak out of Eric Berry now. He finally can't catch him. Cam Chancellor is freaking getting destroyed. Good stuff right there. Keenan Allen, my favorite receiver in the league. the One of the best receivers in this game. Low key. The limited edition. Still expensive card going for 400 something thousand coins. Glad we have him on the team. We do have Slot Automatic on him. He is that guy, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Keenan Allen is that dude. For some reason, when he catches the ball, he just doesn't have that burst of speed that I would like. But he still is an amazing card. As you see, we kick it off right there to him. And Caden Ellis is right there to stop that man. First and 10. 14 to 7. Somehow this man is wide open. Travis Kelsey completely destroyed Ed Reed. So I take it as Travis Kelsey, the best tight end in the, in the um, league right now in real life. But it's picked off. Ed Reed is not going to be taken advantage of twice. And look who it is. Ed Reed. Is being tackled by Travis Kelsey this time, man. Funny how stuff like that works. Justin Fields, I know he got that one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's putting Eric Berry on Keenan Allen. Like, nice to see that that's the maxed out Eric Berry too, getting routed by Keenan Allen. I already know that if he's doing man coverage, and especially with Eric Berry, Keenan Allen is going to route this man every single time. Um, so we see that matchup. I love that matchup, and we're going to pick on it every single time. Now we see, I believe, I don't know if that's a linebacker over there or not. It doesn't matter if it's man coverage. Ugh, look at that cut right there. And it's a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Man, I tell you on Keenan Allen. And as you see, this man has also seen enough. We was up 20 to 7. And your parents can see the game. Let's go. Next game, man. We actually played this game today. If y'all don't know, I'm recording this Wednesday night. We just did this because we needed to... um do one touchdown one passing touchdown one rushing touchdown before the mud champ stuff resets tomorrow so we end up getting 20 competitive points or something like that so that's what we need so after if we get a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown we get 20 competitive points and we will be one step closer to a free 88 overall aka player and right there we try to use her that but air reed is like nope i'm gonna take that Nice, we bouncing off that dude right there. We try to come all the way around, but his team is right there to stop me. Good stuff. So I already know I'm like, you know what? I already feel like I'm better than this man. Let's go ahead and start off with the run. I told y'all we need a rushing touchdown. That's what I'm trying to go for first. So we're just handing off the ball to Derrick Henry. I'm like, I'm trying to tell y'all, I just have a feeling. I'm like, okay, I'm better than this dude. Let's do it. I feel like my team is better as well as my skill set is better than this man. So we are trying to pound a rock on this dude. Six, I mean, second and two couple of plays later and we get a touchdown man, i had skipped it because we just kept handing the ball off and i'm like okay cool we took us a few plays to get up in there and i'm like okay we better than this dude so i already know what he is about to do and y'all know it too man every time this happens it's like ea just knows that oh shoot this dude is trash let me just get this man a boost 
and this dude had perfect blocking. You see, they came into the blocks, right? Perfect. Nobody got off no blocks, no nothing. Just remember that for a second, right? That's all I want to tell y'all. Everybody held they freaking block. Now, look. I got CP, right? Look. Look how I zoomed in. You see how that man got pushed down to the ground, right? Look at this man pop up and literally stops me from scoring a touchdown. <laughs> Yo. You see what I'm saying? The game is so inconsistent, bro. It's, it's weird. It's weird. So we dunk it off the Derrick Carey. We got our rushing touchdown. Now we need to get our passing touchdown, man, because the thing resets tomorrow. So if y'all don't know, the Dynasty stuff is already out. We haven't been in solos, but I want to get this gameplay out for y'all because that's what we do, man. We're trying to get it out. I want to make sure everything is ordered. I don't want to have – that's tacky to do one thing and then come back with some old stuff. So I want to make sure I get out all the latest gameplay that I have right now, man. And we're trying to, you know, dink and dunk. Fourth and one, seven to seven right now. I'm like, all right, I think this dude is in cover three. Uh, he's not a man, so let me just do an out route, which I need to start doing a lot more if I see that. Because usually I'd be like, oh, shoot, they're not a man. What am I going to do? But the out route is going to do pretty good against that. Nice, perfect accuracy completed pass to um, Derrick Henry. Another good accuracy right there to Derrick Henry. We dinking and dunking. We five for five. We're not trying to do nothing too stupid. But we're trying to make sure that uh, we get a passing touchdown. I want to make sure, like, we not running because somebody get wide open. I know he was going to rush the running back. And look who it is. Keenan Allen on the perfect accuracy pass gets another touchdown for this video, man. This man, Keenan Allen, is literally the star of this whole thing. And we kicked the field goal 14-7. to So you know what time it is. He's back on offense. He's looking to do something. And look. Two people in his face. Throws a terrible pass. Like I said, EA Sports, man. I know RD3 is very outdated, but we are back, man. Um, glad to finally be on the winning end. We just kept winning games and winning games. This is the last game we done played. On to the next promo.